spring is here let's get into our colors let's get into our bag okay honestly i shouldn't caught up in my feelings messed up and i'm sprung something in your smile that it makes me Hello cousins, it's Cami. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we've got a two-in-one get ready with me. We've got hair and makeup. We've got the hair provided by Elf and Hair. Shout out to them for sending me this gorgeous unit. We've got baby blue eyes, natural looking skin, and a pop of pinky, pinky nude gloss to complement the new season. So without further ado, let's get into this video, okay? Hello cousins, hello, hi, how are you guys doing? It's been a week, I think, since I posted your girl. It's 25, I had an amazing week. Alhamdulillah, we thank God for the new year. That's pretty much all I have been doing for the past week that I haven't uploaded. Just doing bits and bobs. I've just been on birthday cloud till today because I'm going back to work on Monday. So <laughs> birthday week over, time to grind, time to work, okay? Today's video, as you guys can see, I'm bald here. You guys already know we're doing a get ready with me, as you guys can see from the title. The hair that I'm going to be using today is by Elf in Hair. They set me very gorgeous. Sorry guys, my throat is hurting by the way, because in here, my voice been a little bit rusty, that's why. But yeah, they sent me this gorgeous, gorgeous bob. It is a closure wig. I haven't had a closure wig in a while, and I feel like this would be like a perfect everyday wear wig. I do have some clips of how I received the hair initially, how the hair came, what was in the package as well. I did dye it jet black. I went in with the watercolor method and and dye that jet black. I used half a bottle and it really took the color really well and I straightened it. I'm gonna set the clips here so you guys can see what I'm talking about and then you guys can come back to present day now. Okay, so Edinson Kemi, roll the clip. It makes me wanna come over. Can I come over? I wanna come over. Thinking about your ocean. Swimming pool is closed and I'm in the deep end. The waves are washing over. I know I'm not sober. Can I come closer? I wanna come over. When you leave me like that, girl, don't do me like that. Ooh, when I think about that, I'll be coming right back over. some closure you said you want to move forward i know we're not done i'm thinking about our moments i know i'm not sober can i come closer i want to come over when you leave me like that girl don't do me like that Ooh, when i think about that i'll be coming right back This is my first time trying it on since I've straightened it. I am praying that I've got the center right. Ooh. And I must say, the lace looks pretty good. My parting is a little bit off, which is kind of annoying, but it's okay. Let me try and see if I can fix it. Okay. Doesn't look bad. The other thing I'll say about this hair is that it's very thin. As in like, it doesn't have that much body to it. So that's why I feel like I want to cut it. But I got a big ears head, so you know, that could also be the reason. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit of foundation on the lace and put a concealer down the middle. So let's do that right now, actually. Go see that, the lace looks pretty damn good. All right, let's go in and just cut the lace. By the way, cousins, I did not pluck, I did not bleach, I did not do anything to the lace. I'm gonna add the extra elastic band that comes with it. So I feel like I might not need to bleed on this wig. 
So let me add that on. That feels really secure. Yeah, I don't need to glue this down. I don't think anyway. You know what's up? Your favorite lover. Okay, that is pretty much all I have to do. There's not really much you can do with closures, but I feel like this wig is gonna be perfect for like everyday wear. Perfect for someone like me that does long hours and wake up really early. You don't really wanna be laying down wigs early morning. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I've missed my train because I am busy laying down my lace front all like. This is honestly a quick and easy pop on wig. It's very lightweight as well. So you don't feel like you have bundles of hair on your head. It's literally a throw on wig. So thank you Elf in for sending this unit to me because you just save your girl some time. So now let's move on to makeup. I'm gonna quickly go to my brows off camera and then I'll be right back to do this makeup look for you guys so brows is done not really my best because i do need to wax my brows but it's fine for today's video let me zoom you guys in let's get into the skin so we're gonna start off by using this elf skin holy hydration hydrogel moisturizer i'm using this because i got a facial and the lady done an amazing job but it over like exfoliate my nose and like my skin so my skin has been like super dry as of late and it's very like pro acne right now so my skin is like overly sensitive so i'm just gonna add a little bit more hydration onto this face this moisturizer is actually really good if you're a dry skin babe you will love this because it literally like gives your skin moisture like do you guys see that my skin has been really bad since the facial because you can see my nose then if you can see that it's like peeling and I don't like that. I'm just gonna go back to my regular lady because I tried a new lady around my area because I just couldn't be bothered to be traveling to get a facial um, like so far. But I think it's worth the trip now because my skin, it's not really given. But hopefully it gets better soon. I mean, it is getting better now because yo, chow. Like three days ago, it was looking ugly. So for primer today, I am going to be using my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I tried this primer out two weeks ago. The video hasn't come out yet. It might come out tomorrow for you guys to see. Um, but the video was a little bit of a shambles because I was in a rush. <clears throat> and I actually didn't like this primer when I used it two weeks ago. So I'm giving it another try because everyone loves this. And I want to love it too. So I did use this when I was trying out a bunch of new makeup. So I actually don't know what product made me hate the makeup um that i done that day but you guys will see this video that i'm talking about right now tomorrow so i'm giving this primer another try it does feel really nice on the skin foundation we're gonna begin in with the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation i have got the shade 15 and 17 here I'm just gonna mix a little bit at the back of my hand. This foundation is honestly so beautiful, like absolute love. And the mixture of this two is like my perfect shade. I am a little bit scared to get the shade 16 just because if it's not like the right undertone. I do know that someone asked me to try the shade 16, but I just haven't gotten to around doing that. I'm just gonna grab my e.l.f. foundation brush. I'm just gonna stipple this onto my face when i tell you this foundation is so stunning i mean charlotte really did her thing with this foundation like can you even tell that i'm wearing makeup like can you i think not i think not beautiful 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 before going in my concealer i am going to go in and color correct and i'm going to be using my laura mercier Sugar camouflage brighten and corrector duo i've got the shade 6w i'm just going to use this to quickly color correct my under eye just because my under eye is looking very dark lately like my dark circle is very like pronounced and i really like this because it's so creamy 
it's not like them hard, weird sticks. I'm gonna go in and blend it out lightly. For concealer today, I am gonna go in with two. I have got the She Glam concealer in the shade hazelnut and then just for my under eye just to brighten up a little bit more we're gonna go with the Too Faced sculpting concealer I forgot the name of this born this way sculpting concealer in the shade chestnut I actually love the she glam concealer is so cheap but it gives coverage honey I do have the shade the honeycomb but I'm going with hazelnut today just because I want a subtle highlight today even though I am going in with a bright under eye it's just the look okay it's like the perfect everyday soft highlighting shade for my skin tone this is just a beautiful concealer like i don't know how she and got it so right but they did this concealer chef kiss if you have not tried out she glands products any of it you need to check out my she gland video to see what products i like because every single thing i use in that video I think I loved from Shein and I used them religiously like after that video, i.e. the concealer. Anyway, so now I'm gonna go in with a tad bit of Too Faced and then just blend it out. Next, we're gonna use the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the shade Sunkiss. Absolutely love this shade. This is just a beautiful bronzy shade. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the undertone of this is very much true brown it's not red it's not purple it's very much a true brown shade that is why i like to apply this because it's giving me chocolate vibes when i was applying this on you couldn't really see the shade of this because it's very much closer to my skin tone and it is a bronzing shade but now that it's on my skin you can feel its presence that's why i like this this kind of product you don't see but it makes a big difference in your makeup we're gonna use a little bit of the color pop pretty fresh um concealer in the shade deep dark i'm just gonna apply this high up here it's gonna add as a mini blushy shade and i'm using the same real technique brush this is the sculpting brush that i used to blend out my bronzing shade now we just go in and just blend everything out once more before we go in and start setting with powder so now let's start setting i'm gonna grab maybelline fit me matte and polish powder in the shade 350 caramel i'm gonna lightly set our highlighted areas with this by the way, I am using my Juvia's Place highlighting brush to pat this on. Okay, so let's keep the concealer and the setting powder in the same family. So we're gonna use Too Faced Born This Way setting powder in the shade Translucent. I'm gonna use the same sponge on the other side. Tap off the excess and just go to town. Okay, so before I finish off my face, I'm gonna go in with eyes now. Going back in with the Too Faced concealer. We're gonna use that as a base for our eyeshadow. Okay, so when it comes to eyeshadow palette for today's video, I have low-key missed the trend on this palette. It came out a while ago, I think about a month, maybe two months ago. Definitely this year. I've actually had it for a while. You guys know that I buy it when it's trendy, but to put out a video, it takes a moment for me. I'm sorry, okay? So the eyeshadow palette we're gonna be using today is the Elf Cookies and Dreams um, eyeshadow palette. This palette has literally been all around TikTok, Insta, YouTube, everywhere, literally everywhere. I wanna see what the hype is all about. I really do wanna use this baby blue shade right here. We're also gonna be using this Elf eyeshadow palette, I think. It's like a mini like a neutral everyday eyeshadow palette. I don't know the name of it. I wanna set my eyelid because my concealer is actually creasing up on me. Neither one of this palette has a warm transition shade that I like to go with. So I'm gonna quickly go in with my Juvia's Place bronze face palette. This is the dark palette by the way. I wanna grab this shade right here. I'm just gonna blend that right above my crease on a fluffy brush. This doesn't have a name, but it's a fluffy blending brush. Oh. 
now we're gonna test out the cookers and jeans palette i'm gonna grab this dark brown shade right here i'm gonna place that right into my crease again i'm using a fluffy brush because i don't want it to be too intense okay so now i'm gonna test out this blue i actually don't know if i need to wet my brush hopefully i don't because i don't want that hassle oh that picked up really really well on the brush so let's see how it's gonna look on the eyes Ooh, that looks so stunning oh my god like that is a beautiful beautiful shade like wow bear in mind this is literally powder on powder why did i not try this out sooner this is beautiful now i'm just gonna go and just dust off the excess powder off my face and i'm just gonna set the rest of our face using the max studio fix powder in the shade nw58 and nw50 i actually haven't used my mac powders in a while i just wanted to give my morphe powder a break because i feel like you guys will be tired of seeing that Since I've used the Juvia's Place on my eyelid, I might also use it on my face as well. We're gonna go in with the Juvia's Place bronze palette. I've got dark and deep dark here. I like to mix all four shades together. And I'm gonna be using my Morphe E4 brush. It's like a angled brush. So before I go in and set my face, I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place bronzing shade. I'm just gonna sweep that on my lower lash line. So now I'm gonna go in with Too Faced Hangover RX setting spray. I'm gonna set our face before I go in with my eyeliner. Cousins, look what finally came back in stock. If you know me, you guys know that I love the NYX liquid eyeliner. This eyeliner, I feel like it's been out of stock for like the longest time. I've been looking for it for so long and my local boots finally just like had it. I do feel like they've changed the formula of it and the tip isn't as skinny as it was back in the day. So I don't know what that's about, but they need to not do that. Can you guys see that? Like it's still looking very wet. They've therefore done something to the formula of that eyeliner because I swear to you guys, it was never like this. Anywho, mascara today, we're gonna be using the Benefit Roller Lashes. Okay, we're gonna go back into the Cookies and Dreams palette. We're gonna grab this light blue shade right here. We're gonna pop that right in our Oh, that looks nice. That is gorgeous. Okay, this is my Sigma E80 brush. Okay, so final step is lips. We're gonna do a glossy lip. I'm gonna get my regular lip liner combo. NK lip liner in the shade Coffee, I believe this one is. And then my Primark eyeliner in the shade Brown. I went in with the Colourpop Luxe Gloss in the shade Creature Comfort. Then I went in with my Makeup Session Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade... This doesn't have a shade name, but this is what it looks like. I also went in with another Colourpop Luxe Gloss in the shade Dreamy Much. And then I topped it off with my Claire Lip Gloss from the Hair Shop. And that is what's on our lips now the final step is to add a little bit of blush i'm going to be using my i heart revelation heart breaker blush i'm just gonna grab both shades and just apply that onto my cheeks i feel like i need a little bit of black in my waterline so i'm gonna go in with this ysl eyeliner it's a waterproof eyeliner this eyeliner is so stunning my mom got this for me and it just glides on so nicely. Okay, cousin, so we have come to the end of today's Get Ready With Me. What do you guys think about this hair and makeup? I feel like this is very much spring appropriate. You know, spring is definitely here. The London weather has honestly been treating us nice as of late. So very excited for spring. I'll give you guys spring colors. And with this very soft, very air-like hair as well. Because during summer, it's like spring. You don't really want a lot of hair on your head because you're gonna get like hot and nobody wants that okay like nobody wants to look sweaty during spring and summer and like i mentioned earlier on i will be using this hair as my everyday wig because it's very easy to pop on i'm honestly so pleased with this hair and how this makeup look turned out today
today thank you so much to elfin hair for sending me this unit again i'll leave all the detail links of this hair down below so make sure you check it out i don't know if i have a discount code if i do i'll put it on the screen right here that is pretty much all i have to say thank you cousin so much for watching today's video and thank you elfin hair for sending me this unit once again i love you guys so freaking much and inshallah i'll catch you guys in my next video bye cousins Mwah.